In the first ever study to explore brain physiology in Alcoholics Anonymous members, researchers from NYU Langone Medical Center, they've studied the brain activity of members and found that those who recited AA prayers after viewing drinking-related images reported less craving for alcohol than those of the placebo group who recited and read a newspaper. Now, the reduced craving in those that prayed, it did correspond to activity uh, increasing in levels in in the regions in the brain responsible for attention and emotion. This was all measured by MRI scans. Well, Margaret, I found this particularly interesting. We know uh, that often if you, you put your mind on something, you set a target, you set intentions, you focus on something. We've heard it with meditation. We're also talking about, in this case, Alcoholics Anonymous, reciting prayers. It's all about focusing your mindset. We know that this often has uh, great results, success rates. Now we've seen the physiological evidence MRI scans in the brain, they've recorded uh, the data and revealed that there were changes in parts of the prefrontal cortex, uh, which is the region of the brain that controls attention and in the brain sites responsible for controlling uh, various different emotions. So uh, this is a, a very interesting study. They did obviously just use Alcoholics Anonymous members reciting the prayers, but I think this has a broader consequence than that. When you look at all sorts of things, when people uh, try to set their goals, try to say out loud what they wanna do and, and set those intentions, it actually can trigger parts of the brain and change uh, the brain activity in those regions. We know that meditation is good for you and that it has a, a healing aspect and a centering aspect for someone's soul and brain. I mean, that, that's not you know really in dispute here, but the interesting aspect of this, the, the repetitiveness of this for me, so we're talking about a prayer that's that's very basic in nature. It's the serenity prayer and very, very simple lines. And when somebody repeats those over and over and over, it actually can reset the neural pathways inside the brain to, to have a positive outcome. We're talking about people with a compulsion to drink or a compulsion for other addictive behaviors. And you're really wanting to change and, re and reshape those pathways. And the way to do it, they found, and this story um, definitely it, it backs that up, is that meditation does have a positive effect on people, plain and simple. Sure. And in Alcoholics Anonymous, they do talk about this spiritual awakening. But here what we're talking about is reporting less cravings. They used 20 Alcoholics Anonymous members who reported uh, no cravings at all for the alcohol during the week uh, that followed the testing. Now, uh, less cravings overall after reciting the prayers as opposed to the group that just read the newspaper. But the most interesting aspect of this for me is the MRI scans that really showed the increased activity in the brain in the regions uh, that control attention and emotion. Well, uh, we, we've talked about uh, focused attention, meditation, mindfulness, all these sorts of things. We've spoken about these subjects here before on the Lip TV. Alcoholics Anonymous though, reciting a prayer, you might not think that this would really have the changes uh, that that have been reported, but an MRI scanned, uh, an MRI scanned experiment uh, done by NYU Langone Medical Center has shown the results that it does in fact change the brain, and for the Alcoholics Anonymous members, it reduced those cravings altogether.